Oh, well, they'll be very gloriously wonderful people. Wow, my key light is really dim. Uh, hold on, let me fix that. There we go. That's good. Uh, boom. Dang it, see. Hello, donkey. What's up? So, last night we finished off here. Uh, I have rebuilt the, the university. It finished upgrading. I did that just off stream. Uh, so what I want to do is, now that we've got a little bit of space here, is try to replicate a little bit of what's happening on this side, but over here. Uh, this goes out 1320. I don't know that we're going to... Oh, it fits. That's handy. And then it goes down 440. So for... Ooh. My uh, road guidelines are kind of messing with me. So that goes down to there, and then this can go here. And then on the other side, it just has that open bit, so it's like a little park in there. Uh, and then I'd like to see if we can't get... Yeah, we can get one more here. To get that connected. I guess we're not going to have a connection there. Oh, well, it's fine. Uh, so that just gives us a little more connectivity, though. I just noticed that I didn't build this curve over here. The map maker did, and it's a little off here. Maybe we could fix that. I bet we can fix it. Um, so 440 is what they did there. And all this. That might be right. 40, 360, it's not. All right, so I need to just like do that. So I've got a node. So 440 and then across 880. And I bet this is 880 as well. It is 880 and then the curve road tool. easy uh so i just need to re-establish this walking path maybe there we go so donkey are, are you done with your uh your wish list is that everything i'm kind of excited to have some funky vehicles in next time Um, I could do a connection there, but they can just walk up. But I am going to bring this on over right like that. Just so there's one more connection to the university. In fact, I may even bring that over. Not necessary, but it'll help, I'm sure. Not by cheating. Uh oh, what have you done? Not quite cheating. I mean, I figure, you know, if they're too cheaty. I don't have to use them. As can. Um, so that's good there. Let's do a path there and then let's continue. Oh, that's, I've got the wrong path open here. Oops. Downgrade that. This one over, and then we're, we'll go ahead and go to there, but we're also going to do like another overpass here. Um, we may as well use some of this big space back here, or we could, since this is all high rises, let's maybe start thinking about some of these really big buildings that we're going to need the space for. Yeah, I kind of like that idea, but I don't want them. I don't want them focused on a collector, but that's far enough back. I think it'll be okay. Yeah, that'll be fine. That kind of looks good there. There's going to be high rises here, so that'll be fine. Just fine. Uh, I want to make a district here or not. I don't know. We've got high rises over there. This is a high rises, but we could have high rises right next to the university. 
This would be fine. Or maybe just half of it? Yeah, let's just do like... Like here. Can all be high rises. Go right. It's not a straight line, but whatever. There, so in Broad Park, we will go in and we will turn off the high rise band. So we'll have density here, but it just won't be uh, the biggest density that you can get. Uh, so let's let's think about some more of these type of buildings. I mean, since we've got this space here, we may as well get them in there. What is this? Museum of Modern Art? I don't know that they would be happy to be right there. Ooh, I know what we need. Uh, we have this. Yeah, let's put this here. Try to center it in that space. Looks pretty good. Uh, that was the Technology Museum. It has all of the... Uh, I almost said great works. Academic works. Great works are from uh, an old version of Civ. I don't think they're in the current version. So this isn't a super touristy area, but man, a lot of these buildings fit here nicely. Let's go for just the really big ones. And also, like, some of these skyscrapers, because... Since this is a high density area, this makes sense. Will that one fit in there? It won't. So we'll have to do something different with the path on this side, which is fine. Yeah, that'll give us some much needed uh, elevation over here. Uh, we'll put this one back here. That works really well, and it's right there by Subway, so that'll work even better. Uh, the Expo Center will save. The Science Center will save. The later, same with the Aquarium. Um, our Business Park. This kind of makes sense. Out this way. Maybe right here on the water. I'm going to have to do some things with the trains. That's okay. Um, I wonder if I can line it up better. Nah, it's fine like that. Uh, so back into these, we've got Grand Library. Nah. Oh, I mean, that wouldn't be bad. Synergy with the school, but it's too big. Um, oppression office. What do you do for me? Medical center, which is something I will want to build. We could maybe get that in over here. That's going to be lower density right there anyway, so that works well. Uh, and then we've got some more of these big boys. That we're just going to sprinkle in. Uh, probably not going to do the posh mall. Could do the courthouse. Right next to that building, maybe even. Nah, it's going to be too small. Um... Probably true for the rest of these. Transport tower might work over here. Doesn't want to fit anywhere, though. Oh, I guess I could go there. Sure, why not? Uh, and that's all my tall ones. Cool. So now I can go back to putting my paths in. Now that we know what's where and all that good stuff. So what I want to do here is... Bring a path over. And then I just want to connect these two with a, a walking path, uh, an elevated bridge, so they can go up and over the road without having to cross any traffic. And it isn't wanting to go up in the air. There we go. And I want this to be as long as we can get away with. It right there. That's what we're looking at, and then we'll go back to, and then we'll bring it back down right there, and then we'll connect up right there. And that gets us a nice bit of connectivity through there, I think. And then here, I'm just going to run all the way down to here. It says it doesn't like it, but we're going to make it like it. Uh, and then that gives us an opportunity to make some more connections uh, back in through here. Except it doesn't want to. That'll work. 
And then probably wouldn't hurt to go like that and like that that and then that one didn't connect because it never does now it does so how's everybody doing this saturday evening i hope you are all well um i just got finished uh playing uh snow runner with the vainglorious community and it was an incredibly good time we had a lot of fun That game is something else. So this is 242, so I'm gonna bring this 242. Right there. I wonder if I shouldn't just bring this down here as well. How long is this one? Also 242, I should have known that because it was the same as the other side. We lose this zoning back here, but that's okay because I wasn't planning on putting anything back there to begin with. So it's fine. Here we will just run that over to there, even though they can, you know, just walk up there. Now they can get there from there, you know. Connectivity. Pedestrian connectivity. It's important. Um, in fact, this is totally overkill, but I'm doing it. And we want to connect there, and then here we run into a bit of a, an issue because our building is right here. We'll run that there, and then go back into our straight one, and maybe grab a line. There we go, and see if I can't get into that corner. Lovely, that worked out well, and then run these through here. And maybe even split up some of these blocks, because these are really long blocks. Like, from there, there's 200. So our midpoint is right... Do we not have a midpoint? There. I think there's some merit in just splitting up these blocks. I won't put crosswalks in, but it will just help. Help get people around. And then back here, we've got this big wide open space that I'm not really sure what to do with other than maybe just throwing in a really big park. Ooh, that doesn't fit quite well, but I think it'll be all right. So we could, instead of having the path there, bring it down to connect to this. Yeah, that looks good. And then we can just add some trees and make that all feel like one big place. And that'll be fine. So, more paths. I can even pause the game. I don't know why I have the game paused. Um, I guess through here. Over to there. And then down that way. Over there. I happened to get lucky. I didn't realize that this was going to connect that well, but happy accidents. Not to there, and then we'll come right alongside that building. It doesn't look like that's all that connected. Here we go. This area is way bigger than I thought it was. So here, I'm not sure that there's really much we can do in the way of effective pathways, but we're still gonna add some just to kind of connect these areas up a little bit. I want this to go here. Right? Right? There you go. Right there. And then here we will come across again. Try to back this off one. It doesn't want to out that way. Actually, we can connect the back of this. I always forget that. Like, people will be able to walk through there and get straight to the metro. So that's, that That definitely has some usefulness. So that there. 
And then here, so that's 600, so at 300, that'll just make it easier to go ahead and break that down. And we won't have to come back and find that midpoint later. I know this is terribly exciting building pathways, but it's kind of necessary. Could put them in after the fact, but then it's bleh, a little bit more uh, difficult. And then you have zoning issues and things like that to deal with. So let's do it now. So down to right there. And we'll have to use move it on that as well. Cool. And then all we've got left is this one back here, yeah? For now, anyway. Do that there. And here. Our corner. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and bring another one behind all these. I'm going to go back to... Just to leave a little bit of separation uh, in case this winds up being residential right here, which it very well could. And then just kind of eyeball that. And then we can run this up this way. Let's start from here. Lovely. I think that's everything we should connect for now. And we'll worry about the back there later. All right, so now we just need to make sure we've got water pipes everywhere, which we should for the most part. There's only going to be a couple places that are lacking them, like back here, because we just added this area. Everything else over here is ready to go. Um, I want to add one more district here. Nah, I'm fine with that being as is. So just want to check and see, for the most part, Everything's leveled, uppled, leveled up, uppled. So this really should be high rises here, not the lower density stuff. So we're going to add in one more small district here. I'm going to go like to about here with it and kind of bring it down along that road. And we're going to lift the high rise band. I keep saying band. The high rise band. We're going to remove that from here. So these can be high rises. There, and then those should start upgrading pretty quick. Yep, there they go. Nice. Uh so now I just want to look at my bicycle route here so we do want to maintain that so we're going to bring it I want to bring it down through here and then over yeah let's do that so let's go nope that's not what I meant to clone I want that so I'm going to go here 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 down and then I need to grab this one down to over there and then we'll go ahead and run that all the way up to the train station and that gives us our bicycle pathway so the rest of this can just be regular tree line roads not tree line tree tree median Using the one of the medians get ri gets rid of the parking on the roads, which is kind of what I want. There, so we've got a bicycle path through there, and we've even got cyclists using it already, which is awesome. I think we're about ready to uh, start building some stuff here. But you know what? If we're going to be zoning here, too, let's... Let's get it all prepped. Uh, turn off my snap twos. Bring this around. All the way to there. And then 
then go up here. Uh, this is still not going to give us full coverage, though. Thought it would. So let's have that one little section there. This should take care of it. Yeah, this is going to get it. There. Uh, oh, no. Back here isn't covered. Well, that's fine. Uh, we will turn all these back on. Go there. Go there. Come up from here. And go to there. And then turn them back off. And finished. So... I think this is going to be just a little residential area. And it looks like we're struggling with parks over here. No, I don't know why. There's parks right there. We should be all right for high school coverage. Like, we're way over capacity on high schools. But I think we might... Well, no, we've got an elementary right there, and we've got a high school right there. So never mind. We don't need schools here at all. What I would like to do is maybe move this elsewhere, like down there. And behind our school here, make like a nice little community center featuring a pool. Can't center it. Well, the gym and then the pool right behind it. That way they kind of look like they're part of the same facility. Sort of. So we'll do that there and then uh, maybe even throw in a sauna. If I can find it. It's there. Can I get the sauna and the yoga garden? I can't get the yoga garden in there though. Like to. Maybe if I put them over here. Yoga garden still doesn't fit. Doesn't fit that direction either. Ooh, okay, moving across the street. The yoga garden there. Sauna right there. And then the, we've got a nice little area to, you know, work on your health. Be a healthy sim. So let's do some baths again. Let's turn all of our snap twos back on. And just follow this big blank area that we have. I think that'll be a good spot to connect everything up. Nope. Yep. There. Ooh. There for that little space. Got your inner key on to get this one in. And then... How far do we want this to go? I guess just around the corner back here. So we will go... Ooh, come on. There we go. Go there, and then curved road tool should do it if I eyeball that correctly, and I did. I just want to make some connections down here. I'll go, go right. There you go. And there, and right there. And then we'll get a bit of a connection in back here, even though this ends, but we'll have a walkway here. Like that. Get rid of that little nubbin. And run that there. And then through here, I just want to go straight back. A nice 45, or as best as I can get. And bring that on up this way. Come on, snap. It really doesn't want to. Connect that there, and then over here we'll make connection. Why did that kill that? Did I extend it too far? I don't know. That's weird. Uh, and then we'll make a connection here. And I think it would be a wise choice to add just a few more connections out to the outside here. Especially like right here, since we could probably get a walking path, or I keep saying walking path, a walking bridge in. Um, so let's do that. 
we know it's going to need to end here, so let's give it like three and then go up. Not, what was it, like 242 or something? Go 240 and then over to here. Let's go there. And then just have that go down. Our sides aren't going to be perfectly aligned, but close enough. Oh, that worked out well. It's a nice connection right there. So now people can walk over and not have to cross over the street, though why did that not build in the air like it was supposed to? I just now noticed it didn't build in the air like it was supposed to. I was clearly not paying attention. So come on, delete that. There we go. So back up. Seven. Two, I guess we're doing 242 this time. Down and you're down there. Cool. Now it's connected. Yay. So we'll probably do the same thing here. Run that under. That works nicely. And then we can run one up here. That. I know we're not doing that side yet, but I kind of want to just get that in there. And then we'll run one here. And then I don't think I'm going to do a curved one back here. I just don't think it's necessary. So we've already got the street here breaking that up, and then I can jump on the walking path. We might do a crosswalk right there, though. That's probably not the worst idea in the world. Just grab that and turn it into a crosswalk. Oh, I thought I clicked it. There we go. Oh, it's still there. Now it's, now it's gone. So now am I happy? Now am I ready to do this? I think so. Yeah, I'm ready to do it now. Okay. So, let's uh, see where we've got the biggest need. Unemployment is fine, so I think if we do a bunch of residential, that would be a good call. Let's reserve just a little bit for some low-density commercial through here. Like right here. And right there, just to have a bit of shopping. And then maybe over here as well, just a smidge of low density. You know, looks like it's high density they, they want. The rest of this, residential. Like the whole thing. Uh, we'll have to do something different there. Uh, let's back this off just a little bit from there. Insane for this walking path. Just give it a little space there. Are they going to build anytime soon? And then down through here, I want to be a little bit more selective to make sure that we've got good spacing and that we're not going to get just a bunch of weird buildings. Same right here, like do something like that, and that should cover it nicely. I guess we can cram one in there. Um, get a big one there, or just a small one there, I should say. I go back to this tool for just a minute because most of these are uniform shapes. And anywhere that the shape is fine, we can just fill in. And we'll do the rest of them by hand. Uh, let's take a look at our train here. So we can go back here, no problem. Uh, and then we need to start cutting them back. And that will probably be it. All right, let's deal with these funky ones now. Um, I don't need this anymore. 
probably wouldn't hurt to have just a couple more little places of commercial. So we're going to use like these two for that. And then we can have some high rises right next to it. And what I'm hoping is that they don't build like a four by two here and wind up leaving a bunch of this space. They build two two by twos and one four by four. That's my hope. Which you never can tell with the dame. The dame, the game's gonna do. Uh, let's do a bit more commercial right here. And I think that's got almost all of its own. We just have a little bit more back here. Come back. Yeah, I'm happy with all that. Keep hitting the first person camera mod. Go away. There. So not growing in the fastest. Also, I just realized this waste transfer facility is in like the worst possible location. We're gonna relocate that. We don't want it amidst all of our uh High rises that we're about to build. And they are not building that in fast at all. We're just going to take, or if ever it'll stay empty, we're going to take this duty. And for now, just move it over to here. So do we have bus service in this area at all? We have this bus line. I guess we'll just do a separate one in this little neighborhood. Just a little circulator that kind of picks up where these paths are. Honestly, it does. I don't even know that this is going to be worth it. I guess it'll help these people back here. Uh, back that off. Back there. And then run back here and there. And then we'll put one here, right here. Come back. Got a weird turnaround down there, but it'll be okay. That'll just get them to the different metro stations and from the different metro stations via bus back into here. Just keep some of the car usage down. So this was predominantly residential. There is a little bit of light commercial there, but whereas over here, like we're going to do like a lot of offices over here. Like this whole side here is going to be offices. So we're going to leave this corridor leading up to that guy. So we want like offices, offices, all of that to be offices. I can grab this tool. I just think it looked nice to have that open as a corridor. If I could get it, I may even, you know, what? I'm even going to get rid of the street that goes through there. And then, I don't know what we're going to do there. We'll probably just, you know, put some parks or something. In fact, these parks that I put back here might be able to work here. Yeah, like, I kind of like these here better to make park area. And then we can do offices over here. Yeah, I like, I like that idea better. Now, why are these two sides different? What did I do? Oh, it was because of where the statues and everything were that this wound up being weird. Let's try to make this consistent here. So get rid of that. No, honestly, I think I'm fine with it like that. Then I can put those in. And then we can move these over a bit. That. And then around back, we have the big park. So here we just need to grab this dude and like shift it a little bit because it, it doesn't center up. So I want to center it like that. And then let's let these offices start building in. 
This is a financial district with out of high rise band, so we should get some stuff like this. Cause this over here is a financial district as well, because I put in the international trade building. And then that should take care of jobs over here. And then we also have IT clusters nearby to get some more big buildings. All right, so while that's working, let's get a couple more bus routes. We need a bus route that serves the, the campus. Um, so we're going to have a stop... Right there, right there, and we're going to pop into here, up to over here. Yeah, that's only two blocks they still have to walk, and then it'll just hang back. Wow, that's fortunate that it does that. So I guess just to kind of solidify the idea, we'll stop there, or we could, yeah, let's put a stop up there and then it'll come back around yeah it's a long run right there but I guess what we could do to make that long run justified is put another stop right there right right there and then they can walk around the corner and get on the metro and back here I'm going to start a route here so the road's out on good. Let's decide out one of them. And then we're gonna come back in this way. Down to collect that. And right over on the other side. And we might, instead of doing multiple routes, we'll just get back around easily. Yeah, it gets back around easily. It's fine. We I was going to say, instead of bringing it back like this, we could have um, just made two routes, but we don't need to. This would be... Yeah, we do need to, because of that. I didn't realize that we were going to have that. So we'll collect it, and then we'll run another one that goes this way. So that you can catch the bus going either direction. Sweet. And that'll also help the offices out. They like being near buses and subways and things like that. So I have to find something to put here in the middle, but that won't be that big of a deal. So now we kind of need to just chill for a minute, I think. Though I could maybe get a bank down here. Uh, where are they? Here. If I put a bank back here, that can cover a lot of this stuff, but ooh, it takes up. Put it here. And then we can get some commercial in here as well, because we do have a pretty big commercial demand still. So I think we'll just take all of this. So we are going to need to leave a space for a path. So we'll do that right there. And then maybe not right up against the bank. I think it'll look better leaving a little space. And then we'll kind of mirror that over here. Like that. And like that. That gets us some commercial near our tourist areas. Which, let's see, what's our attractiveness? 62%. We're getting almost a 1,000 tourists. Not too shabby. I need to check something real quick. Bear with me. Yes, I forgot to turn the air conditioner. Or down, or whatever. I knew it was getting warm in here awful fast. So we got a little pocket of tourism down here in the financial district, but not huge. Um... I'm thinking that we're going to do some touristy things back here, right behind all of it. Because we've got a train station over there, though, that this all may change. Oh, you don't have water. My bad. There, have water. Yeah, we got 
two buses going through there. We've got our bicycle path coming part of the way in here. We'll have to connect it a little bit better. We should probably connect this as bicycle path as well then. So we'll just change these and have to reestablish a path. That's easy enough. Just like that. And I've intentionally left gaps here because, I don't know, we could put offices back there, but honestly, I think it's nicer just to have, like, these little plazas kind of lining the the main street so that you don't have all these tall buildings just crowding your, your main avenue here. Speaking of things crowding the main avenue, we don't want parking on this. So we want to just eliminate all that parking. Looking pretty good. I can make this better. Uh, we can make that all into highway bits. So I have a two lane divided highway or four lane divided highway, I should say. There we go. And then I just want to stop what just happened. I don't want them to be using that as a U-turn. Going straight through. Cool. That makes me happy. Uh, let's make sure this is set up properly here. I don't know that we need to force them to stay in their lanes, though. I think coming off the highway would probably be a good idea to let them change lanes. Otherwise, these guys would be forced to stay in that and make a right there. And maybe they don't want to make a right there. Maybe they want to go somewhere else. So now they'll be able to change lanes in the middle. Man, this is filling in. This area is getting there, but it's, it's definitely taking its time. But it's just there we go that's better I could do this big area as a city park as well get some amenities back here I just have to have a gate and that's easy enough let's uh get rid of that grab our small gate it doesn't want to go exactly where I want it to be but I can make it go there. Like that. And then I guess we'll put in a couple more gates. Uh, so we'll put a side gate in. Wait, I got a park area. So yeah, we'll just make a, a small little city park. That encompasses this area for sure. And then, whoops. And then we could even bring it back to over here and fill in some of this empty space we have. So instead of doing a bunch of plazas, we can do some park amenities. And then this area will have a better park score, better... Entertainment, I think, is what it brings. Parks, right? I think. So if we're going to do that, we need to make all of these gates. We need to add gates on all these places that we put paths. So this is going to take a minute. So put one. That's the main gate. That's why it doesn't want to go in. It doesn't want to go in. Put one there. We'll put one there. And we'll put one here. And then we'll line them up the way we want them. Is at about a 45. Just kind of aiming that way. This one, I'm going to bring over this way and line it up with that crosswalk. And same for this guy. That works. And then connect these back up. And then back here in these areas, I, I don't think I'm going to do gates. Just here in the middle bit. I think it'll be fine. Uh, though, if I did put gates in, 
we would get a lot of money. It's a lot of people would be paying us to to use that. So back here, I could probably get in like a gazebo. I think maybe a gazebo will fit back here. Yeah, gazebo will fit back here. Let's turn anarchy off. Ooh, the gazebo does not fit back. It does. Apparently. Cool. But back here, we could probably get like climbing frame and then maybe the giant chessboard well, the giant chessboard does not fit uh so maybe we could throw in like restrooms and a cafe and just get a little bite to eat back there that's kind of cool yeah. and then over here i can just throw in the info booth just for entertainment value that doesn't fit still but this might this will fit fine Let's do a couple of these here. Right on the edge, just kind of just like the capstone of our area. Um, then maybe, since this is residential over here, a little bouncy area. And then down on this end, we might be able to repeat that. Um, to get some good park score going on down here. I'd like this to be connected on a path and not on the road, so we'll just add a path. And that works lovely. That's starting to bring more entertainment over to this direction. A lot, but some. We could even extend the park over to here and put like a pier right here. Let's do that. So we're going to bring this park area down to this area. Oh, that took care of it just by bringing the park area over here. Like, oh, hey, we have a park now, even though there's nothing there. Let's throw in that. And then we'll come in here and figure out where the pier needs to go. It's really a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. Do a couple of them. And then we will add the path in to connect to these duders, but it's going to take some finessing because it's going to want to flood down here. That should work. That pier's a, a little over some land, but eh, whatever. So now when we look at this area, it should have a really good entertainment value, but it's not Only down there is struggling now. So good. Good, good, good. Uh, and that also is increased the land value, I guess, over here because these dudes are upgrading. So it looks like everything here has filled in. As. And we still have pretty high residential and commercial demand. Not as much offices, but I kind of want to let this run for a little bit before we start thinking about too much expansion. Yeah, there's a lot of people walking through here just to use it. That's a cut through, so we should turn that into a nice little money maker. Though the city's making like 56 grand, so we're in a good place. We got garbage pickup problems, which is because I never turned that off of empty, and so it can't ship out trucks. That would be a good reason. So we'll get that taken care of. Cool. So while everything is moving, I just want to revisit transit again. Uh, start with our metros. And make sure that we've got enough space. Yeah, we're, matter of fact, we're a little over capacity on this one. We were under capacity on it when we built it, so we had to bump up to a bigger car, but... If I go with the car that's 150, we would be passing people, so we're not going to do that. We're just going to leave it as is. Metro Line 4. Um, same thing. We've got one really busy station. That got nearly to 150 before the car got here. Plus, it didn't even grab everybody. It looks like that one's going to get over 150. If anything, we might be able to add, you know, bigger cars on this one. I'm 
going to see what happens with that stop that just rolled over into the 90s if everybody gets picked up or not. And... No, they only picked up like 20 people. She goes to this stop right before it's so busy. So that one holds 204. What does this one hold? 400. That's a big jump, but I know that the high, these two hold even more, I think. Underground train. That's better. 300. Yeah, I like that. So then uh, Metro Line 5 has 800 people riding it, but it also has more cars. So, yeah, everybody's getting picked up. So that one's fine. And then this one doesn't really go much of anywhere right now. So it's not going to have a whole lot of riders. All right. We do surprisingly have some people using our train lines. Very few, but they're there. Nobody on that one. And then two people on that one. I cut the number of trains way back. It was throwing like 10 to 15 trains on those lines, and that's a bit overkill. So I, I just I paired it back. I just didn't see the need. So we're gonna look at our newest lines. First of all, I want to recolor them. We'll make some darker colors this time around. Because we're running out of colors. I need to get the auto line name and uh, color mod back. Kind of miss it. It was handy. Those two are really similar. Those three are really similar. Should light these up a little bit. There we go. Now I can tell the difference. And then our newest bus lines probably aren't the fullest yet because people are still moving in, getting used to the mass transit routing. Though this one, but all right. This one especially. That one's plenty busy. Is that this one? No. Where's that one? Oh, it was that one. Okay. Cool. But yeah, I've got passenger stations. I added the passenger station way over here. I just kind of redid it so it would fit. And then there was one already kind of like set up for over here. So I added that one and went ahead and added the cargo terminals. Um, and then I put a train station here. I'm still not really sure what's supposed to be happening in this area, to be honest. Ah, I said, excuse me. I just don't know what to do with it. But they've got a one way in and a one way out. With this little road right here, like, was that meant to be a train station? I'm thinking, yeah. But then the, the rail also ran over to here, and that would have been a cargo area, and that doesn't make no sense. Not at all. So have these guys all upgraded, or are we still waiting? Um, you cover my more services. What more do you want? You've got... Okay, come back. You've got... Uh, police coverage. You've got emergency services. Do you have death care? Because I know you've got health care. Death care is not the greatest. Um... Can we get rid of one of these... Or get away with one of these memorial parks over here? There's a bit of landscape, or not landscaping, but paths, but I don't know if that's the end of the world. In fact, I'd like to get it back here behind the hospital. 
to lose those pads, but I'm gonna come through and put some of them back. Our snap twos on go here. Cross. And then that gets us health care, or death care. That's clearly not the services that they were wanting. I think they might be a little too far from mass transit. That might be what's making them cranky. But I don't really have a way to get a stop closer to there. I mean, I could... Add a stop there and add that there. Yeah, that'll work. It's really close to the other one, but whatever. So we'll do the same thing over here. And hopefully that gets them the services they wanted. We'll upgrade. Now it's educating more citizens. Because, of course, it is. That one still says services. What service do you want, man? I don't understand. All right, time to think about our bicycle lane, which I should have been thinking about earlier because now I've got to deal with roads. This is bicycle path over here. So let's bring it in this way and then have it go back out there. There's my bicycle path, there it is. And then we'll just kind of go maybe down this way. Turn collisions off and see if that causes trees to pop up. Hopefully not. Good, turn collisions back on. Our bicycle path down this way. Collisions back off in the corner. Trees popped up, that's awesome. And right like that. And then basically do the same thing back here where we don't have to worry about any paths getting in our way. Because we haven't built any yet. There. That gives us a nice little loop throughout the area for our cyclist friends. They should be fairly happy with that. And the rest of these streets, we're going to deviate just a little bit. Like, we've been doing the trees. I'm going to do just a median. Like, just a grassy median on the rest of this. No, uh, I'm not. I am going to keep the trees. I think they class the place up a little bit. And they get rid of uh, on-street parking which is always a good thing. We don't want people parking on the street. We want them paying us to park in a parking garage. Oh, we should have some parking garages in downtown here. Yeah, we're going to do that in a minute then. Right behind here. So I've got a couple of different parking garage assets. up, Hassan? I haven't had a check, check Discord. Did you get your uh, wish list submitted? I think it's funny. That's what Donkey called it. going to add them after the stream to my game and then test it out tomorrow make sure it is all working just so I brought the bicycle path through here too that works I'll uh, I'll check it out right after I get on the stream and uh, get them added to my game and that should solve the problem I still don't know how I was able to do it otherwise, but whatever. Like I said, we'll test it tomorrow, just to be sure. Oh, I said I missed some. I'm looking forward to it, though, like having 
some non-stock vehicles in there. Bucky's like, some of them are a little cheaty, but I don't care. If I think they're too cheaty for me, I just won't drive them. Alright, so we need parking. We need parking garages, which... I have a couple different models. I've got this one. You can put as many as you want, man. I, I, I genuinely am happy to put whatever. We got this one. Let's use the big one and go each side over here. Should also help with yeah not as many buildings are in the red now wow, our traffic's only 78 percent where's our of course our holdups over here it always is So let's bring one more path across here. Like, I'd like it to be roughly lined up with that road there. And then we'll do some landscaping and stuff down through there and make that look a little bit better. But right now, it's looking pretty damn good. Dig it. Right, so let me look at my districts. Um... So this is IT, this is financial, and that's IT. And then the rest of this is all, and even back in here, the rest of it's all self-sufficient housing. So let's keep expanding. Our big demand right now is commercial, so we're going to continue with that. I think I just want to leave that building on its own. I don't think I want to put anything there. Caffeine. I have a headache. Oh, it's just caffeine. The map wheel has an accurate interior, no steering wheel, no rearview mirror. Wow. Oh, that felt good. I don't know if you heard my neck pop just then, but wow, that felt good. Holy cow, that felt good. So I think commercial would benefit over here with proximity to these tourist destinations. So we may go a little bit heavier here as well. And then right here. But then we're going to need to switch to offices because we need to have that sound barrier for the residential that I want to get in. Plus, I think we're starting to get into the IT corridor here, which will, well, that's all I wanted to do, which will uh, get us some nice big tall buildings as well. You see that with <laughs> Do it, man. Like I said, whatever. I, I'll put whatever in there. I don't. I really don't. I'm happy. I'm. I'm really looking forward to having you know just some off the wall vehicles. Even if I'm not the one that winds up driving them, I'm just looking forward to having them in the game. So I'm gonna let this build in and then see what our demand for residential is. But man, that's. That's becoming quite the skyline there. Get this gap filled in and it steps up nicely. Like we've got the lower density stuff and it steps up to high density over there, then high density here, and high density all back there. And it'll start stepping back down back here. I think this has a high rise band on it. It doesn't. 
Oh, I really can't. So this is where it'll step back down. And we're going to do some more touristy things out this way. I still wonder if fairies wouldn't work well in this map. It seems like this would be a really good spot to put a fairy. And then just have it pinging back and forth to some of these areas. Or even like here, just pinging back and forth. I mean, there's the metro. But look, this metro doesn't go there. This metro goes there. I don't know, maybe we may try to retrofit some fairies at some point. I mean, we can get one there, we can probably get one there. Even though that's dead in the middle of residential and they wouldn't really appreciate the noise. Oh well, shouldn't have built your house next to where I planned on building a ferry. I'm like, how are we supposed to know? I don't think we need this stoplight. Is gone. Probably don't need that one either. I still think this would be a good place to build an airport. It's just so compact. Like, I'm not sold on the trains being out here. Obviously, this one was meant to be a cargo win. I suppose I could do more industry out here. Ooh, we could. We got a big farm back there. It's pretty fertile ground. But what baffles me about this way, this right here was one way, and I got rid of it. Why is this one way here and then one way that way? I don't understand what was meant to be going here. Still having a lot. Oh, wow. We don't get airports till 55,000. Really? It's a big yikes. Near the international airport would fit like with that one way road layout. I don't know. I really don't know. So, they're still building? No, they have filled all that in, and we still have big demand. Yikes. I'm going to leave space for my paths here. I'm going to do all of this as commercial. I'm going to leave a gap there so I can get through. Path. There and then we'll do commercial here and here. Do more offices. Uh, more offices. Let's see if I did a dumb. Wait, no, that's 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 what I wanted to do. I didn't want it here. Go away. I want to leave this bit open in the middle. Go away. Get rid of it, get rid of it. Actually, you can come back because I need to put this here. And go out four more. Same over here. Go out to there and then four more for a sound barrier. How much noise does that put off? Not a, not a lot. It'll be fine. Same with the parking garage. I'm kind of surprised it's all it puts off. All right, well, while they're building... Whoa, come back. All of that, I am going to start getting paths in. It's on me all the way right around, baby. I'm gonna get some more paths in because I'm all about the paths in the city. Making it just as friendly to our pedestrians and cyclists as possible. I mean, there's these gaps here anyway. I mean, something's gotta go there. That's the way I look at it. I would say sorry about your business, but I'm totally not sorry about your business. So let's grab that and make that connection right there. So make that connection right there. Cool. 
Now, there's just every bit of freaking office and commercial that I build. They're, they're filling up and nobody is complaining about the lack of workers. Like, nobody. Let's see what traffic light we don't need. At least not for now. Whoops, that's not the right button. That's the right button. So is there one down here? There is this one. I don't think we need it. This one, though, I know we need because, well, there is one there. Somewhere down here we were having a lot of traffic jams. I guess it sorted itself out, though. We have a lot of on-street parking here we need to take care of. Oh, my head hurts. Starting to get a migraine. I haven't had a whole lot of water today, so drink water. Should I get another Dr. Pepper? Hopefully that uh generic Excedrin works. It's the exact same stuff. Why buy the Excedrin when the Equate version works just as well? Unless you're just like a headache medicine stop. Look at all the pedestrian activity. This, this makes me so happy. Like, look at this bridge. Look at that. They are thrilled to use that. And that's reduced the number of people who have to come down there and cross. It's just, it's fantastic. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, are our parking garages getting utilized? Oh, yeah. There's tons of cars in there. And then we'll wind up doing some landscaping down through here. In fact, let's start on the landscaping after I finish the paths. I keep getting distracted. It's a bad habit of mine. Up there, and then run this one here. And back here. I mean, I know I want to connect up to this. Let's do like this. Bring this back. Right to there. Oh no, I went too far. To end it here so I can use the curved road tool. And then we'll run one down here as well. And those connect into the metro, or they should. I grab them and just do that. And then same here, I'm gonna have to just bring that down and make it look a little funky at the corner, but it's all right. It'll be fine. Um, I've already upgraded all my roads this time, so we don't have to worry about redoing any of these paths later. There, and then I want to come down here. Probably across here. And we'll go ahead and go across again. I'll come back with move it in a minute and fix all these places that aren't connected. Um, probably wouldn't be a bad idea to have a connection there. Just trying to think, maximize how pedestrian friendly these areas are. Even if it comes at the cost of, lo uh, of losing a bit of zoning, I'm fine with it. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Right here. Uh, this is looking pretty fantastic, if you ask me. Um, I could do another one here, but I think that's close enough to that one. So let's grab this, get that connected. Move these back so they look a little better. Good. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about our corners. I'm just 
keep wanting to get all this done first. Um, here we could do a connection. Wouldn't hurt. I could even put like a crosswalk in there, but I'm thinking more that people like will use it as a shortcut to come through and go that way. All right, so curves. That's that one. That's that one. How many road guidelines can we have in one spot? And then I want to come in right like this. And it's going to say, oh, it's not going to say space already occupied. So I'm going to continue that down. And then we'll get that connected up in a minute. And do roughly, ooh, I can't quite do the same. Moment. No, I can do it. You know, let me get away with it. I didn't think it was going to let me go under the, uh, Oh, I had anarchy on it, so I didn't think it was going to let me go into the tracks. Oh, it would have anyway, because there's nothing there. So those are all mostly connected, but close enough. Uh, down here, though, is not. Cool, so are we still... Still nobody complaining about lack of workers. That's a ton of jobs we just added. What's our unemployment sitting at now? Still 4%. I'm guessing this area over here is growing up at the same rate then. That's the only thing I can really figure. So this half needs bus route. I, I don't want... I want to just have two separate little bus routes here. So let's figure that out. So we've got that set there. So let's just have a good interface between the two. Where's the stop on that side? Is there a stop up here? There he is. So it's farther back, but that's okay. We'll put this in here. And then we'll jump over to here. Do a stop there. Do a stop there. Do a stop there. And then come back. Yeah. We don't need two routes over here like we did the other one. This one is find a loop. Where's that? There it is. Didn't see it. And then hopefully that'll just get, come right in nice. We're starting to see a lot of these subway stations get a lot of riders. So we need to keep an eye on how many people are on these lines. So it's the bright red and the pink line. Oh, there's 1,500 people a week already riding this stuff. Um, We're still good on that one. As long as this car drops some people off. Ah, okay. Did not. So let's bump up to the 10300s. With that guy and that was our red one what's our pink one looking like we already bumped that one up to 300 so it's good we could decrease the number of passengers per car and bump up the number of cars because there's nine stops they've only got four cars I kind of like that idea. We're gonna we're gonna experiment here. We're gonna bump this up to two hundred percent, or whatever it takes to get eight. There we go. Uh, we're gonna do the same on the red one. The cheapest eight that I can get away with. There we go. Um, that way, there's cars coming more frequently, so we're picking people up more often, and we won't have to have as much capacity. This dude, holy crap, he's still not keeping up. So how many, this is 19 kilometers with 16 stops. I think we'd be 
in a good spot to do the same thing here. Oh, we're running low on power. We're going to go full 16 here. One for each stop. And see. Oh, wow. Oof. See if that doesn't take care of things. Let's go deal with our power situation. Um, Where are we building our plants? Over here. Kind of out of space to do so. Can I get one more in back here somewhere? I don't believe so. I don't see anywhere that I can get another one. So what we'll do is jump over to here. Go there and maybe right here. Should bump us up nicely, so I bet our water is getting low. Not too bad, but we're gonna add on anyway. I don't really have the space to do so, so let's come out from these two. It's just like water tower row right there. And the waste processing capacity is fine, it's just the trucks are taking forever to go from here to here. Which is kind of an annoying thing. Alright, let's double check back in on our metros that we just messed with. We were at like 14, almost 1500. Um, if my plan works though, this will pick up even more people this way. But it looks like we're still doing some passing. Bye. They haven't quite finished on bunching, but yeah, we're we're leaving a lot of people. So let's go up the next one in size, two hundred. This adds fifty-four more passengers for that. Now these are God, even these are still behind, even with extra cars. Yikes. So we'll do the same thing here. Go to that train, and that was Metro Line 3, Metro Line 4. Same story. Just leaving a lot of people behind. I just want to get them picked up. Like, as soon as they walk up, I want there to be a car there to pick them up. So they have, like, no waiting, and that will maximize the number of people getting through in each week. And maybe we could make a little money off the metros. I doubt it, because it, we've got stations that are sitting empty doing nothing. I mean, we're paying 15 grand for metros. We're only making 4,800. So, yeah, we're losing a lot of money on our mass transit. Which is kind of another reason I want to build an airport that ticket revenue. So, 1,087 right now, but we should see better things happening here. So all of these are getting cleaned up nicely. We've just got this one that's really busy up here. But it looks like they're just now getting back around. So if we can get like three of those cars to go by, even two of them, we should get all of this cleaned up. Let's see if anybody gets passed up here. Uh, yeah, a lot of people. Oops. But they come around fairly empty, so if we can get this stop clear, like that, then the next train that comes in behind it will hopefully not be as full, and then can get all those people. That's my goal. I don't want to overbuild it, but I also want to make sure everybody's getting picked up as quickly as possible. So we basically have one train, like, every kilometer. So they're coming in, you know, like, in real life, that would be coming in at, what, like, once every probably two minutes. So that stop is filling up. But, yeah, as we get these cars that don't have as many people coming through, we should be okay. And even down here, they're still fairly full. We've got a couple places that there's not a lot of people getting on, but I think it's all right. Oh, man, my head hurts. Yeah, we'll be fine. That one's down to 60. 
that one's got more than enough capacity to get all them. And everything down line looks fine. So yeah, you've got more than enough space to gobble all them up. Cool. That line sorted. Uh, that is now up to 600 people. Actually, then count of the residents, almost 800 people. Or tourists, I mean. So then let's... What was that? That was our dark purple line. Five. Let's check in on these guys. And they've caught up. Matter of fact, to the point that we did, our cars are only half full. I think we could have gotten away with the smaller car if we just would have let it run. But they're there now. I'll just let them keep running. So hopefully we'll get up over 1,500 residents. I don't know how many tourists we had last time. I didn't look. But we were at like 14-something on residents. So I'd like to see that number bump up just a little bit. We're about where we were right now. I think maybe one more cyclone will probably go up. So 1430 and 393, so basically 400 there. So we got about 1800 people a week riding the metro in a town of 37,000 people. That's it. Seems like there would be more. Why is the garbage collection not? Look, it's right there. Send the truck. It, boom, done. For whatever reason, it just doesn't dispatch enough trucks. Just want to see what our next week's numbers are here. Fifteen hundred, cool. So yeah, it helped. Definitely helped. So we've got one thousand nine hundred and nine people. Right, and then over a thousand per week that even bumped up our number of people on the buses because now the metros are coming through more often and there's more people at the bus stops which is exactly what i wanted so now we're going to look at them let's work our way backwards here there's probably not yeah there's not a whole lot happening back there let's uh sort it backwards so we don't have to scroll down every time same here there's not a lot in that area yet but here there is, and yeah, not even half full, despite moving 100 people, so that's good. Um, this one, fine. One bus, almost full. And here we've got buses like half full. Like that's our biggest group there. That might get to 20. Oh, I'll say 18. Yep, yeah, say 18. Uh, what line was that? 911. Line 11. I said 911. Uh, 10, 9. Nine's fine. 8 should still be fine. Yep, we've got one bus nearly full, another one over half. Uh, so now we need to go to number 9. Okay, either way, I have to scroll, so whatever. Do it like this. Oh, we're going backwards in the list. Yes, a seven is the next one we do. Seven is fine. Five is fine. Four. Good. Beautiful. We've got little baby buses on that one. This one's a bit busy. So we need to get a bigger bus on here. Uh, you know what? We haven't done any of the articulated buses. Let's go for it. And bus line number one. Ooh, yeah, we need, we need more capacity here. Uh, let's go with uh, the 70 on that one. So this one has the 50. Yeah. And that should get our mass transit in pretty good shape. Uh, I just want to check my trains and make sure that we don't suddenly have a lot of people waiting in each station. Or people leaving, for that matter, because I did it's 26 kilometers, only two trains. Granted, trains don't have any speed limits, so they can travel that. It, it's basically 13 kilometers between stations. You can travel that pretty quick. And nobody got out of line. Uh, nobody riding that one. And then this one has one train. 11 kilometers, so six kilometers each way, six and a half. 
It's almost 12, so we'll say 6. But 5 and a half. That's how math works. Just in case you know you didn't know. Uh, so, we continue to do work on our bicycle paths, no matter what we do. So we should, yeah, our cyclists are... Here's where we ended last night. No, we ended at like 700 and something. Yeah, we were here last night at 696, basically 697. We've added almost a thousand cyclists, which that's traffic off the road. We've only got one place in the entire town that has any significant traffic, and it's right here. I have a traffic light there. I go back and forth on whether I really need it. Because you see right now, there's so little traffic coming out that way because now they have an incentive to drive over here because there's stuff over here. I guess this one's a little bit busy. There's no traffic light there, though. That's just kind of a free-for-all. Which, whatever. It's fine. I may temporarily remove this traffic light just to see if that doesn't little better i think it's a time traffic light it is so we gotta stop it remove it and then remove the regular traffic light that's there and then we'll keep an eye on this if it starts getting really backed up which it might because they're idiots don't seem to understand what lane to go to All right, let's uh, let's help them here. Let's let's do some work. First of all, yeah, I want that to stay as is. So I'm gonna go here. Now look, use your use your protected lanes, people. Be smart here. So that's that side. You can go there. You're not restricted after that. You can go there. There. You go there. You go there. And you have a protected right. You have a protected left. You're sharing that one. And you go there. Now maybe they'll be smarter about this. Or they'll just continue to bunch up in the middle. <laughs> just gonna continue to bunch up in the middle. Usually, giving them dedicated lanes, they figure it out pretty quick. I do have it so they can't change lanes here or here coming out on those two areas. Uh, where was that other one? Over here. It's going to do the same thing. Well, a similar thing. We're gonna make sure they understand how lanes work. So everybody will get a protected right. And a somewhat protected left. But if I'm gonna do that, they don't have a chance to change lanes. So on this one, I need to make that go straight as well. Even though it only goes into one lane. Well. Uh what was I working on this one? So you will go there. Or there, there, and there, there, you there, you there, and there. So all my right hand turns have a protected lane, and the lefts and the straight throughs just kind of have to duke it out. Yeah, this is getting worse without the light. I was afraid of that. Big Sedge. Um, everybody going straight is piling in just that center lane. I did have it so that both lanes can continue on straight. So we're going to put the light back in and reestablish that these guys can go straight. Change it from there and put it in that one, even though that's going to mess with my protective rights. Maybe I seem to make this six lanes the whole way. I do. I just gonna make that six lanes all the way. And then we'll have it bump back down to four. So let's give them the extra turn there. 
and you know, let that lane go straight and left, straight and left, straight and left, straight and left. That should have got rid of my lane marking, so like, except for a little bit, it didn't. Hmm, it's not reflecting what I just put in. Straight and left. Straight and left. Maybe it's because I deleted those lane markings. It's a possibility. There. Now, how, how do we do without a light? So now you've got two different lanes you can go straight through because we do not want this backing up under the roundabout like that. That's bad, 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 bad. Oh, my head hurts. Oh, hey, we did a thing. We now have helicopters and ocean thermal energy conversion plant might be handy. Uh, the cargo hub might be handy eventually. Yeah, this is just not going to work without a stoplight, which is sad because there's so little traffic coming from this side. I hate putting in a traffic light, but... They just seem incapable of figuring this out on their own. I'm going to give it one more try here. I'm going to just undo something that I just did. So, yeah. Give everybody a lane they can turn into. So they can always switch lanes down there if they need to. Uh, so that's that side. So here, there, and there. It's just there's so many cars wanting to go straight. This way, everybody has a dedicated lane. So there's not any other car trying to turn into that same lane. Oh my god, it's just a nightmare. Yep, it's got to have the traffic light. It just won't function without it. Okay. So, control, set that up, then we're going to stop it, and then we're going to edit some things here. Um, we're going to give... That side should be probably like a second or two longer. So we'll give them just a little bit more time to get through. Uh, this side definitely needs to be longer, so we're going to give them like six to eleven coming through here is our shortest so we're gonna go like two and seven and then here is our next busiest we'll go like five and uh ten and we'll start that and see how it goes now, the thing about this being shorter is they're going to have less time to get out, plus they're going to be waiting longer. Did I not start it? What's happening? Oh, we just got cars that are still confused. That's what. But hopefully by having this side longer and this side longer, we can get more of these people that are going straight through here. Get them out of here. starting to clear on this side. This isn't backed up too bad yet. This is backed up pretty bad on this side. But they always have a protected right. Almost always. In fact, there's no reason they shouldn't always all just be protected rights. I want to make that happen because they've got the lanes that always have a protected right nobody else turning into those lanes so we're gonna pause real quick so i don't have to like mess with this uh stop edit i want everybody to always have a, a clear right on every step that's why we have the dedicated lanes there, save, start. I mean, this isn't going to get a ton more traffic through because there's not a lot of people turning right. But everybody who's turning right can always go. This nonsense, however, has to stop. 
Like, look, you guys, you, these guys coming down can switch lanes, but you guys, just please sort your shit out before you get here. In fact, uh, do that just to kind of solidify what's happening there. So they got to pick their lane when they come in. If they want to go left or straight, they got to be in that inside lane. If they want to go right, they got to be in that outside lane. Now, why aren't you going through? Because you can't yet, because there's idiots in your way. But you'll be able to now. So all these guys that decided they want to turn right can just come through. Good. So I need to do the same thing on this side. And it's just lane switchers at this point causing our problems. Like we've got people here wanting to go all the way over into that left lane. And they should have chose that back there. So you can go here and here. And you can only go there. And then we'll see how this goes. This is already looking better. This is already looking somewhat better. This is a little worse. Oh, it's charged now. Cool. Oh, this side still. Wait, I thought I got rid of that movement. Did I not get rid of that movement that he's trying to do? I did. Why? Why did he merge like that? You're breaking the rules, sir. How dare you? Fact. Boom. That's what I think. You're breaking the rules. Um, also one thing I need to do, since I upgraded this, I lost my... Oh, it stayed. Never mind. I didn't think it would stay put. Okay, this side's looking good now. So they don't need as long of a segment as I gave, gave them. So we're going to fine-tune that some more. Oops, I didn't mean to hit skip. I meant to hit stop. So that's this side. We can bring this back down. Uh... I still have a pretty heavy traffic flow, but I'm going to go for and nine. And that should still be enough to help these dudes get through. So this side's clearing nicely, so they've got plenty of time. In fact, it looks like all of this nonsense back here is going to clear up. So that side's definitely good. You got that well balanced. So let's make sure all these dudes can get out. That donut van's the last one. Why are they going so slow? Oh, it's pedestrians. I could get rid of the pedestrians because they've got a, a way to cross over here. And then they've got a place to crawl. Well, they can't really cross there. They can walk down to here and cross. So it's this side and now this side, surprisingly, is all backed up. Yeah, I think it's our pedestrians that are causing us issues. It's not even really pedestrians, it's cyclists. Well, I say this side was fine, and now it's backing up again. Oi. And now this one's cleared up. Maybe it's just going to come and go. What's my percentage sitting at? Right where it was. I haven't done anything to impact it in a meaningful way. But this is clear, but this is not. trying to see how far back they get to go. I may need to bump them up just like one more second. I'm not going to pause it this time. Uh, edit. Which one are you? That one. Let's give you just a little bit more. And we'll give you your run over an extra two seconds. 
Because it can detect if people are waiting. And, and and I changed it, and now they're fine. This side's fine. This side's fine. This side now is struggling. Because everybody wants to go straight here. Everybody. Is there not an alternate path they could take? Not really. No. There's not. We've got a lot of it cleared up, but man. So do we at least get back to the intersection before it turns red? He works for Bruce Enterprises. Um, no, it does not. Okay, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep messing with it. I'm determined to get this. But let's bump them up a little bit more. Let's see if that doesn't take care of it. This only backed up because I had the light stopped and they were stuck a little bit longer. It'll clear back up. So now they've got a lot more time. It'll probably take four or five cycles before this whole tailback gets clear. But it's because they're all wanting to turn is part of the problem. Also, what's my speed limit on this road? That could be... Ah, okay, it's slowing down on this section. We don't want that. We want this to be the same 45 and that. I'll make sure they're getting out of here in time. In fact, it could probably even be higher since it goes between two roundabouts. We could probably bump the speed limit up out here. Make sure it's not going farther than I want it to here. Just there. Cool. Same in this direction. Good. And then that will at least let them get out quicker. Or get through the light quicker. This side I want to keep to 45 because it comes into the city, but this is just going between two roundabouts. And hopefully the higher speed will get them through quicker. Maybe. It's just that everybody wants to go straight there. Okay, one more tweak. One more tweak. So here, we're going to let you go straight because there's nobody really coming that way. So hopefully that'll encourage some of these guys to split off like that guy just did. And they'll we'll get two lanes going straight instead of just one. And if we can do that, then we should be okay. Yeah. Yeah. But look, they're already they're already doing it, and that's almost solved it. Most of these will get through on this next cycle. So who's our farthest guy back? You, you, you. How close do you get to the intersection on this cycle? You're now the fourth car back. That's I can accept that. I think we have sorted this intersection out. Everybody got through on that cycle. Coming this way. Or up. We've got this guy that got in line as the light turned green. So once again, he's the fourth car back. That's fine. That That's fine. I can I can deal with that. It's not backing up to there. It's not backing up here. It might occasionally, but I don't think it will very often. And here now we have, like, no cars. So now that that big tailback's gone, we can probably shorten that cycle back down. Let's we'll see how close this garbage truck gets. Not very. All right, let's bring this side back down just a little bit. Not a lot. That one, yeah, let's go. 
five, and what we'll do is we'll reduce the uh, cars waiting segment of that one, and that should help some. Because if it detects that there's a car that's coming into the intersection, it'll keep it green longer. That's what that second number does. So there, they all got through. Which should allow these guys to start getting through because the lights are going to cycle more often now. And that is just getting a ton of use. Cool, so that should have given all this over here time to do upgrades and things. Yeah, everything is maxed out. Cool. And mostly true over here. I know, we still got an awful lot of level ones. It's saying educate more citizens, but our capacities are great. They're just not going to school. Oh, our, our university is getting borderline. We've got 3,059 in town, so I've only got like 140 to spare there. But still, we're not over capacity, so it should be all right. But they are asking for more residential, but I hate, I, I just don't like adding residential in when we don't have everything upgraded. Okay, over here, all of this one's upgraded, and these two. I mean, it's happening, just a little slower than I'd like. I am digging all the pedestrian activity, though. I mean, it looks pretty cool. Got a lot of parking happening there that I don't want. So we've got this area filled in. I want to get just some trees in here just to kind of create a barrier. And we'll fill in that back there. And then any area in here where I can get a tree, we will. That should be good. Yep, that looks fine. This area over here, I'm going to do some spe different type of landscaping. But here I thought just woods. Just, you know, just... It, it's a nice bit of separation from the road. Like, from the citizen's point of view, that's... And the road's way over there. It's pretty far away. But it still it gives a nice bit of greenery the area it makes it feel like you're not right next to a big highway even though you are so i like it um so since that area hasn't finished upgrading we're gonna come back over here and think about what we want in this area so i think i'd like to do of these. That one's big. Just to kind of line that. And we're going to come down through here. Some of our more colorful trees. Ooh, actually, before I do that, since this is like a downtown area. Fit beautifully. Food trucks. I'm just gonna do one to each side. You know, that way you can go get a bite to eat. Yeah, I like that. Um, I'm gonna change these because they don't really fill the area all that well. I'm gonna come in with something more substantial. And then we can add a few of the decorative trees after the fact. And we can go in the corners with some of these colorful ones. And then in here, in this area, um, I don't really know. I don't know what I want to do. Maybe just kind of repeat the same pattern. I don't want to overdo it. I don't want it to feel overall. Why is there nothing there? Oh, because there can't be, because 
So we'll just fill that in with a couple oaks. That'll fill that space nicely. Yeah, this is working. And then I just want to come in with the prop line tool and get the right bush and just kind of fill this in like this. Lovely. And then same thing back here. Doesn't really want to put in there. It's sad. A little too close to the road. All right, well, we'll do a main one then. Oh, there, yeah, the road extends out a little bit. All right, that's fine. We got it in the end. So then let's do the same thing over here. It's a nice little row. I want to leave gaps so people can walk through. I don't want them just to be a tight hedgerow. They won't. I mean, like... The game doesn't work that way. They don't see a gap and they won't walk on the grass. But visually, it looks like they can. And that's kind of what I'm going for. Put it down here. Yeah, I dig it. I, I, it's not a lot. Like... It's not too much landscaping, but it is enough that it just makes the area look a little better. In fact, I think I can probably even get away with a few right along here. Something like that. Come on. There you go. I, I think that looks pretty good. We've already got plenty of seating and things built in. I don't feel like I need to add anymore. Fill this little gap in. Why is there not a walking path right there? There should be. Once I find the right button. There should be a path. There you go. So, I, I dig that. I think that looks good. Now, down here, I don't know what I want to do. There's a lot of space that's just open. I mean, to start with, we can come in with maybe a different shrub. Or maybe just our wild hedges. Remember to turn on the prop line tool. That's not... Ooh, you know what would look good here. Young Lindens. That's too close, though. Let's, uh... Change that spacing. Maybe a bit more. Maybe less. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. And then we'll do right back here if we can get them in. And yeah, doesn't wanna. We can go to there. On this side it'll be a lot easier because there's not as many buildings there. So we'll do a row of young lindens, and then on the other side, we'll do our. Ooh, that's way too close. It's still way too close. That's better. Let's get them spaced a little more evenly. Just a little something different there. Um, we've got all this other area to deal with. So along here, yeah, let's add some color. With that one and right here. 
No, it's, it's, it's getting a bit repetitive. So instead, we'll come through with this really tight. And we'll line this. that and we'll do the same thing down this side and down this side and then we're gonna add in some shade these paths by just doing really dense oaks to either side of the path we get a nice shaded little walk back here ground right there. It's already in the shade because uh there's a skyscraper right there That'll make that feel a little bit better. And then we're going to line this area with, of course, chestnuts. Uh, they are apparently being roasted on an open fire. Christmas songs of January. And then we have a little green area there, and I think that's fine. I mean, maybe in the middle of uh, the afternoon, you want to go kick a ball on your lunch break. Go kick a ball. I'm not going to stop you. And then we've got some areas back in through here that need some love, but mostly right here, I think I just want a walking path. Though it's not going to cooperate with me, so I'm going to have to start it like here. Now it's definitely not going to cooperate with me. I'm going to bring it like that, but I guess do that instead. But there you go. Oh, this one. Fine, go there. What do I care? Now it's something to know. There we go. That works. And then we can go back to like our little young lindens. Back in there. For this, I'm going to start my corners. And just do like I usually do, just kind of visually divide it in half and then divide it in half until I feel we've got the density we need. Like, I think that's fine. I don't think we need any more. I'm going to do this side, divide it in half, divide it in half. And it just it winds up looking pretty good that way. This side can use one more. And it'll drive everybody with OCD crazy, but it's not symmetrical. In fact, we're going to do extra on that side. No, it's really not symmetrical. But that's, that's looking, starting to look really good in through there. Bringing a bit of nature into the big city next to uh, the mega shopping center. That doesn't look so mega to me. In fact, it just looks like a place that you buy bug spray. But what do I know? Trash news. PNG radio. Nice. And oh, look. It, it's a place for donkey. Smooth, smoky, smoky, smooth, silky milk experience. There you go, spraying donkey. It's a place for you. Even though I don't think you've been watching for quite a while now. Still. So, did that kill enough time for these buildings to get upgraded? Uh, more of them are, but still not quite as many as I'd like. Uh, we're up to level three on a lot of them. This side's doing better. I, I don't want to, I just don't want to add any more till I know that we're, we're ready. So I guess then I will do a bit more commercial and offices because there is still demand. I think this would be a good place for some commercial here. A row of offices right here to kill that sound. So I guess we'll just fill that all the way, rest of the way in. Now we can't do the same thing on that side though, so it won't be perfectly mirrored. Uh, then let's go here, but not right up against that collector because that would be bad news bears. And an office there. Did I really just say bad news? I did. I'm sorry. And there. And there. And I think that's it. I, back here, I want to leave a lot of residential. Up here, I could really get away with doing a lot more 
office and commercial. They kind of have like city services and stuff like that up here. Uh, let's do it. So we're going to go big on this bit here. there and there as well as right here and right there and then we'll leave it over here and then this will be our little sound barrier for the residential that will eventually be over here hopefully we'll eventually have some residential demand over here Maybe. We do have the IT district somewhere right here, though. Yeah, so these offices are going to be IT district buildings. Same for these back here. The few that are back here. So we've got financial center in the middle, IT district surrounding it. And then the residential that will go in is going to be the... Um, Self-sufficient, which should look pretty good uh, once it gets in. We're going to do a little bit more in there. Might not put anything in that area, but let's go ahead and get some of this residential in here just to see what it's going to look like next to all of this. Which the answer should be pretty cool. It should look pretty good. Not so much worried about having walking paths next to high density residential. I think it's fine. Ooh, we've got conflict with sure right there. Just you just want to keep that little buffer because high density commercial is noisy. So if you do just a little gap of offices between them. You usually take care of it. So that has killed most of my office, all of my commercial demand, and most of the residential is popping right back, even though they haven't built there yet. So that's kind of strange. We do have traffic problems, though. Are you using this as a cut-through? I bet you are. Instead of coming down to the roundabout. Uh, there's an easy way to solve that. It's mostly, it looks like mostly residents though, like, I don't see too many trucks in here. I mean, there's that guy, that's police. Yeah, this is all, except for like that one dude. But that one dude shows me the need. Uh, why he is there, I don't know shouldn't be I'm gonna block commercial vehicles on this road not parking we're gonna go here and not allow them and just down to the other end it's just so they're not using this as a cut through well crap i have to allow them to get in though well no we don't have any commercial. we have a little bit of commercial back there i can't do this Okay, yeah, never mind. That's commercial will never be able to get deliveries. So I can't do that. I can do it here. They'll have to come all the way around, though, so that'll probably just create more problems than it fixes. So, whatever, we'll leave it. We'll just leave it. It'll be fine. What do you guys think? You like it, chat? You think it's coming along well? You hate it? We have this one. So we're going to let that build for a while and we're going to switch gears. We're going to come over here and we're going to start a forestry industry. Because I think this is kind of the perfect place for it because there's all these trees and it's going to be pretty substantial. It's going to occupy all of this back here. Even though no buildings will go back here. It's still going to be the forestry road. 
opening all the way down through there, coloring outside of the lines again. It happens. Go to the big blob and put all that in. Cool. So we can come in with our industry buildings. Go forestry. Uh, but before I do that, I want to make sure that we've got good coverage of forestry here. So I'm going to turn off the lock forestry button. Now I'm going to come in here with my forestry brush and we're just going to fill this in really dense all in through here. Even on the cliff side. Not really on the cliff side. I'm going to clean that up in a minute. Um, but all of this, just as dense as we can get it. Which, that's looking pretty good. So let's, uh, you know, you could use a few more. In there. Yeah, that's good. Let's clean up this hillside. Because while trees do grow out of on cliffs, it's not very common. So a few is okay. Or are okay. You are okay. A few is okay. I'm not sure what the grammar is there. Uh, but we don't want a ton. So then if I lock forestry back and we come in here and look at this. Now there's a lot more dark green. It's still not huge because of the fact that there's roads everywhere. But it's better than it was. Now, if I turn this off and plant trees, right, let, will it let me see both of these at the same time? Can I have forestry brush in that? Yeah. So I can slowly add in a bit more if I come down and focus on it at a little closer level. But I have to turn that lock forestry on and off to be able to do this. So with all the fire, what's up, people? Work? You know what? With this many trees, it will set itself on fire. I have no doubt. You know what? That is really not adding as much as I thought it would. So we're going to remove it all and start over and see if there's not, like, some other resource under here. It's causing this to not spread as well as it should. There's nothing. So I'm going to crank up my strength. Blanketing this. So I want to see dark green. Because the better the resource is, the, the better the extractors work. By the way, Viborg, uh, I was telling you a while back that my very first computer was an Apple IIe with dual floppy drives and expand bubble memory and all that. And I thought that my parents had gotten rid of it long ago. Still have it. And when it was boxed up to move from Ohio to Arkansas, it still worked. So now my dad's like, hmm, we should find out how much it's worth and sell it. Don't plug it in. It's it's boxed up and in storage right now. Yeah, my dad's totally interested in selling it now. Seeing what we could get for it. There, that's better. It's not the best, but it'll be fine. So we're going to put the headquarters just wherever it'll go. Like right there by the uh, gross stuff there. Uh, and then we're going to bring these back here.
Just however many I can get in back here. I think eventually we'll be able to fill this with the big ones. Oh, the trees need water. Imagine that. Let's deal with the water situation. Uh, there are caps of power slide that dry out from age, have high chance of exploding and plug it in even if you don't turn it on. Oh, really? Well, the last time it was turned on um, was when they, right before they moved here, he plugged it in and turned it on and made sure it would still boot. And that was... Two thousand seventeen, I think. I think. So it's been a while. I was just impressed when he told me that he had powered it on and we booted it up in what was it called? Apple Works, the uh, yeah, the the spreadsheet and all that. He 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 had the discs for that, put it in, and was able to get right in. Cool. So we're gonna do like raw resources over here. So we got some polluters over here. So let's we'll keep polluters with polluters, and I'm gonna go pretty heavy on this. Um, I want. A very profitable forestry industry. Oof. Yeah, you told me you had that luggable. I remember you mentioning that. Cool. So that's our uh, big buildings in, but we need or our resources, but we need a lot of storage now because we just put in a lot of trees. Is that on a slope? That is. So I'm not going to put storage back there. It'd be fine, but I'm not going to do it. Um, I will do storage right here. Uh, I don't want the trucks turning against each other, though. I don't mean they're going to, like, fight in the street. I mean, like, making a turn in front of each other. Um, and then... <laughs> don't want the trucks turning on each other. Do a good number of sawmills. I'm not even going to bother consulting my spreadsheet here. Bar go on. need storage for all of the plain timber that we're about to make which I'm betting we can just go like this plain timber plain timber plain timber plain timber whoop, whoop nope 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 plain timber there it's gonna take a while for these dudes to get the trees from these dudes but once they do, this place should uh, start making some decent cash. Just want to check. Yeah, see, by locking the the forestry, it's still there, despite the fact there's no trees there. It's still nice and strong. So these dudes will start making trees. 48 on that one, 48 on that one, 48 on that one. It should be 48 across all of them. I don't think any of them were uh, deprived of the green. Yeah, we're good. And that should be more than enough plantations to keep all of this storage full. Thus, eventually, keeping these guys all up and running. Just going... Gonna definitely take a minute. Uh, she's probably losing a ton of money right now on forestry. 
Well, that's fine. I, I knew that going in. What we can do is come in here and turn on all of our policies. It does cost us money, but it will help it start boosting up. We've already got enough workers for our next upgrade. But because all of these are set on balance and these haven't started producing, they, uh, I'm going to turn these off for now. Uh, they're going to draw in all these trucks and I don't want that. Basically, oh, hi. Basically what I want to have happen is these dudes to start complaining that there's no, not enough buyers for products, which then we can open up all this storage. But I, I don't, I don't want all these trucks. I don't want them. Or, and all these trains. Look at all the trains queuing up to make deliveries as well. We don't, we don't want that. That's, that's a bad thing. Oh, uh, it's also a bad thing is we have a lot of unnecessary stoplights out here. Right? A lot, a lot. That one down there is fine. That one's fine. But we don't, we don't need these. I don't even think we need that one. Oh my god, it just keeps going. I doubt that road will even get used. It's just a loop. Let's clear all these and just make it a free for all. Now, yeah, whoever gets there first type situation. That should be fine. Oh, they're still making deliveries even though I turned them off. I was hoping they would just go away. I was really hoping they would just go away. They're like, no, we're here, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> Trucks coming from every direction to drop off logs. Look at that. Ooh, that's that's got to be costing us a ton of money in imports. Yeah, only $12,800. Ouch. Oh, well. So now we've got the paper mill. Yeah. So again, we're gonna we're gonna load up on these. And they too are gonna complain about not enough raw resources. So I guess since these are filling up anyway, regardless, we'll just go ahead and turn them back on. That way they can start making deliveries out to the, all those other buildings. Not that they'll have any hope of getting a truck out of there anytime soon because of the just every freaking log yard or multiple states over has decided they need to ship their wood to us. <laughs> they're giving us wood. Um, I think for now we're going to leave the stoplight. Because uh, I think it is it is probably helping a bit. And maybe that one too. We'll just, we'll just leave that alone. Um, and then we need storage for... What do you make? Paper. You make paper. So we will do the same thing here. But we got to go off of this road. Because we don't want this on the collector. And we will set all of those to paper. This doesn't get imported. So we will not be generating a bajillion trucks for that. Uh, we should have also unlocked... Yeah, the uh, furniture factory, which fits nicely right there. So they will need one little storage for their uh, unique factory products. And then eventually that will get its resources. So we can just crank that. This dude's like, dude, there's too much garbage here. Um, we could put in another waste transfer facility out here. I mean, we've got, we've got the room to do it. Um, where do I want to put it? Where do I want to put it? Um, I'm going to put it here, maybe. It doesn't really fit anywhere that I want it to go. 
All right, fine. He can go there. Da -da 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 -da. All these freaking lumber trucks, dude. Place is producing quick. Is it making money for us yet? No, it's costing us even more than it was earlier. And we'll continue to do so till all of these are full. And then they'll probably stop importing after that. So we want a couple things out here. Uh, first of all, we want just a small little fire department. Just to uh, make sure all this doesn't burn down. And even though putting them on the collectors is bad, we're going to put it on the collectors anyway. And then down this direction, we're going to do a fire watchtower. Right there. And another one right there. And that should cover, yep, all of that. And then we also need a police station down here. As you can see, this dude's complaining about crime. And then, believe it or not, we have a metro that runs out here. I don't know if I ever extended the line out here, though. I did. Yep, we have a metro right here. 83 people can come to work every day, day in, day out. Odd place for metro. Also, I don't quite understand it. For some reason, the map maker extended it out to there. I think they just wanted to show off their tunnel building ability, which I will admit is a beautiful tunnel. But, like, there's nothing out this way to build on. Like nothing anywhere. Even that's probably uh, there's a little bit of flat area up here I could probably build in. I guess. Dean Woods. That just sounds like a dude. Just some guy. Dean Woods Wood. <laughs> Dean Woods Wood. Yeah. Oh, in fact, that's what we're gonna. Dean. Oops. Woods. We're slowly dissipating all the trucks and trains. Are you really? A okay, I didn't think I was allowing tourists to come in there. I guess, you know, any tourist who really wants to come see a paper mill. I can tell you, having lived in a town that had a paper mill, you really don't want to. They smell bad. Ooh, a new YouTube subscriber. Jim Rad. Rady. Hi, Rady. It's just chaos. Stop importing. I have enough wood. I have too much wood. Oof. Uh, I'm just going to make matters worse here. Oh, I didn't even fit. That is going to just make matters worse. But I'm hoping that these dudes don't fill up. The thing I like about the forestry industry is for the most part, the buildings terraform. Here they did. I don't know why. They should have. Cool. Everything's running? Yep. Cool. That means we can start exporting furniture. So hopefully this area will start cranking out a lot of money once they stop importing wood to fill all those up. That's going to be a big ask. And we also have a ton of employees out here. So we don't even have to do workers barracks or anything like that. It'll just be fine. Uh, what we can do, though, is once we unlock it, is do the maintenance buildings. Because it will increase the storage capacity of all of these buildings by 5%. And that'll be good. So let's like, spam out a few of them down there. And that'll be it. That'll be our big massive forestry area. We're already getting paper in our paper storage. Cool. So those will probably fill up, but they can get to they can they'll be able to export that over here. If ever they can get over there. They're gonna drive all the way down there to do it. What's our speed limit out here? 45. It could probably be higher out here. I mean it's just a lumber mill. Yeah, we're gonna. We're going to bump up our speeds out here. All the way up to the highway. Not that I think, you know, these lumber trucks need to be going that fast. 
Because they definitely don't, because they're never very well maintained. And then we're going to encourage them to use this stupid little loop. I'm going to make that 65. I, I don't know why that little loop is there, honestly. Again, other than to just look pretty. I don't really know. Actually, if I leave this back road 45, they probably would have been more tempted to take that 65. But I've done it now, and there's no going back. I can't change it. I mean, I totally accept can, but not going to. That's all 65 now? Yep. Uh, come back. Run that down here as well. Cool. Are we, cool? Are we good? Oh, we've got a tunnel here. Where do you go? Where do you go? Oh, you. I guess for people who are going to live over here, that will be handy. I guess. I don't know. Oh, I did not get rid of all the stoplights. I thought I did. That's totally unnecessary. So are there any down here I missed? Yep. Just one though. Which one? There. That should be all the stoplights gone now. Nope. Nope. Now are they all gone? I want... I, don't know, I guess I don't want that one because it's not there. Yeah, it's still a bit of an issue happening here, but we just got to wait for that to calm down. It eventually will. And back there, all that will eventually settle down on its own. Once they have decided, hey, those are as full as they can be. So we're still spending a lot of money. So we'd be making money right now if it weren't for the fact we were spending so much on imports. All right, cool. Let's uh, head back over this way. See how things are going. I intentionally didn't build any schools here. Just because we were way over capacity. But it looks like our elementary is now slowly starting to catch up. So I am going to put in... Good elementary school. You are. I'm going to put in one. I'll put it over here. They can walk. High school capacity is... 6,000 over where it needs to be and there's one right there so I'm not going to worry with it. Uh, there's one right. Oh, there's one right there. Where's There's also an elementary over there. And then I'm thinking that a lot of this over here is going to be residential so we'll throw in one more big capacity elementary over there. And then that should be good. Now the downside is that ooh, no, they're not complaining about the lack of parks. That surprises me quite a bit. This area is just taking a while to get enough people because it only counts the people who walk through a gate. So it's really going to only be people shortcutting through here that are working in our advantage. So all these other pedestrians, if I went through and replaced all that with gates, well, then they would all count towards upgrading their park. Oh my god, I have the hiccups so bad. Well, there's places like here that I can't put a gate. I can put one there and there, but that would probably cost me. Yeah, I'd have to... I'd lose some zoning. I'd have to put it there where that building is. And I don't want to do that. Are you dudes still over here complaining about garbage even though you've got your own transfer facility that refuses to send out enough trucks. I'm digging how this is coming along. Like, you know, over here, old part of town, like this is where we started, right here on this square. This is our starting square. If you were somehow able to climb to the top of this rock, you would have quite a, a nice view. Water and, and city. I dig it. 
And eventually, we'll somehow figure out how to get light railroad over here to use the cargo terminals. I don't really know what. And then here, I think this would just be a cool island just to have just nothing but residential. I don't know how we're going to connect the roads just yet. We'll probably tunnel over and do a highway interchange there. And then maybe a bridge or two across. How's your wood doing, Dean? Getting closer to profitability. We only lost 4,700 and we're only importing seven grand. Trucks. <laughs> Crack me up. Oh, speaking of, look at that. We just had another upgrade. These should be, yeah, we've got 125, two of them, 25% full already. So this is, this is looking good. That's looking good. You have stuff? No, because good, your trucks are going out to export that and or deliver it, which is what we want. Why was there a cargo train coming through my passenger train terminal? Does it have to go through there? Like, is that their only way to get over to that tunnel? Yes. No. They can come through here. Through this line, go over there, and then get there. So I can make this just passenger trains right here. There's no need to have cargo trains going and getting in the way. Oh, well, if it becomes an issue, then we'll deal with it. But for now, it's fine. Stop importing stuff. You have no need to import anything. These are all imports. Look at that. Every bit of it. We've got some exports happening. Like, that dude's an export. That dude's an export. But these were all... These empty ones... They're empty because they imported stuff, but we are exporting quite a bit of cargo right there. That was a train full of logs. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I kind of want to follow my train here. See what, see what everything looks like from the train's point of view. Which is about to just look like a tunnel. Let's see where he's going. Oh, that was a tragedy right through that balloon. Might have gotten those trees a little bit close. It's kind of a, a nice picturesque train ride, isn't it? Look at that. That's pretty fancy. Are you actually going to the other train terminal, or are you just passing through my town? And if you just passed through my town, I hope you paid me to pass through my town. You are... Nope, yeah, you're just passing through my town. Okay. Fine, I guess. There's another lumber truck over there. <laughs> Who brought us some stuff. There's a tractor barreling down the highway. I don't see any more coming in, though, so that's okay. Oh, there's no need to keep following him because there's nothing else to look at down that way. I was hoping to, like, follow one in that was going to one of my stations to see what they see. Where are you going? You're going to that one, so that won't be much of a trip. Um, we'll come back. We'll just wait for a passenger train to appear. We'll have one soon. I love that this is how the game loads up trains and cars. Like, these people will wait for buses, cars to get into. Like, you can see them getting in the car and then going. <laughs> I love it. And then eventually, once there's enough of them, it'll spawn a train as well.
normally with the edge fog turned on, you don't see this. It's just buried in the fog. That seems like that's dangerous to walk down there. And uh, so where are you guys waiting to go? You're all tourists. There we go. See, there's a tourist bus. So that train will probably just stop there, and they'll probably just get on, and he'll probably just bounce back. Nope, he disappeared. Okay. So that was him sending people out. Are you going to disappear, or are you going to bounce back? You're probably going to disappear. Yeah. I want to. I want one coming in. Yep, they're all just walking off the map. All right, we're done here. A cargo train. But... I'm not interested in following cargo train. I want a passenger train. You're not. Ooh, that's not the end I want to look at. I want to look, at, I want to look here. That still doesn't work. Oh well. Maybe we'll eventually. Hey, there we go. Now we're at the front. I'm just gonna magically teleport over onto the. Uh, the ramp. I'm kind of sad that we don't have them go into our train terminal. But at least we'll get to see the whole ride through town now. You would never really have passenger on cargo rails, but I'm not about to build a whole separate rail line just for passenger. there's enough separation at the stations that it should be fine. I like that this is running in reverse this whole way. Also, why aren't these going on with all of them? It's not going as fast as they can. And they're not catching up with the cars on the highway at all. And they should be. They should be going faster. There should be no speed limit on the rail. I guess maybe they're slowly catching up. And the cars on the road are going 85. I've got I've been the speed limit 85 out there. Oh, we're going a different way, huh? Or maybe not. I'm not sure where the tunnels go. Oh, this is going to go right through our station. Are you going to stop? Nope. <laughs> I'm just going to go right through. There's a commuter train that just went by, that green one. Is this where we went through earlier, or no? I think this is a different tunnel. Yeah, this is a totally different tunnel. No, it's not, because there's the pillar we crashed through earlier. Okay, well, we've seen that. I don't need to see it again. So we're just waiting at this point for things to finish upgrading, including this guy who still has more than enough employees, so I'm not going to have to worry about him at all. Do we have these? We do. So I'm just going to maybe, if they fit, just put a couple of them in. So each one increases their storage capacity by 5% and it costs 200 a week to upkeep. So I'll do four of them. That'll give me an extra 20% storage. In these dudes and there we go they are now producing 5,952 and look at that our mass imports have ended so now we should start getting an idea of whether or not this place can be profitable or not probably way overbuilt it to be honest As it is, yeah, it's overbuilt. We are exporting 224 of our 311 tons. Um, but once this storage all gets above 50%, they will begin exporting these goods. And that's where the money comes in. And this dude, most of their goods are just going to go out to the city. He won't really export all that much. But if we go into our import-export screen, we can see that 
we imported a lot of forestry products recently, but we also exported a lot. So it's almost equilibrium. So I wonder where we could get a fishing industry in. I'm not going to do it tonight. Because my head really hurts and I think we're going to wrap up soon. We have tuna. Tuna is so profitable. Maybe we can just turn this into a fishing area. Fishing industry area. Screw the airport. Tuna is way profitable. That makes me kind of happy. Like, we could just put some docks in here. Like, just line it with a key wall and make it like a just a V shape. Just spam them out. And get ourselves lots of tuna. I can't buy any more tiles. I, the only way I could get more is to unlock them, and I don't want to do all 81 because it does have an impact on performance. All right, so one last check with traffic. We're still at 77%. It's still this intersection. Everywhere else is fine. Like, it's busy over here, but it's moving slowly. There are some things we could do to improve that, maybe. No, that's bicycle lane. There's not a whole lot we could really do without getting rid of the bicycle lanes. And we don't want to do that because... We've been we've been trying to get I keep hitting the wrong one. This number to keep going up. And it has. Last time we checked it, it was like a 1600. Now it's a 1700. So I suppose we should make one more check of our mass transit. We're up to 3,000 riders a week. Ooh, 1,100 people riding on this. Holy crap. But nobody's getting passed up. We don't even have any trains that are like they're two thirds full in that line, so okay, whatever. We finally, have people riding that line. These two both have four to four fifty. Everything looks good there, and everything looks fine there. Uh, the trains, however, now that there's a reason for people to go out there. I might want to add just one more to each one. Just so they're not waiting as long. These are having trouble getting unbunched. But that's a long route. And this guy can have two. I want the cheapest two possible though. So I'm just going to bump this up. Teeny, they're tiny amounts. Done. Um, and then we'll real quick run through our buses just to ensure that nobody's getting passed up anywhere. The stop is still really busy. So 30 people. So we only need like five more people per bus. That one holds 50. So we go up to like a 60, we should be good there. Bus line 3, nobody ever rides bus line 3. Bus line 3 is, I don't know, I guess the buses smell? I have no idea, nobody ever rides it. Or it could be that there's so little industry out there that nobody sees the need to ride it. 5 looks good. 6 is fine. Seven might be a problem. As long as that doesn't jump up by like to 70 or something. We, like I'm fine with it missing one or two people. Or five or six or seven. Or ten. Oh, it jumped up to 70, did it? It's going to hit 70. Yeah. So we need slightly more capacity on this line. So we'll give it slightly more capacity, five per bus. Uh, line eight is fine. We'll just make sure this stop gets all picked up. Yep. Go. Cool. Uh, line nine. Nobody's really riding it. Ten. Same story. Why not? Where does ten go?
Oh, that's one that's out here. Yeah, there's nothing out here except the train station. And they can walk just as easily. Uh, 11 is fine. 12 is fine. I do like that all of them are like saved 100%. This one needs some help. So we've got 200 people that aren't getting picked up. We've got six buses. So we need. We need to at least double the size of these buses, if not a little bit more. So they're getting 30 right now. Let's go. Let's go for the articulated bus. We don't have very many of those in this map. Uh, line 14 is fine. And line 15 is fine. Things fine, mostly. 3,000 citizens, 1,000. Wow, we're getting a thousand tourists. Fifteen hundred tourists. Nice. One thing I haven't checked in a while. Yeah, we're still fine on capacity on our uh, university as well. So cool. I think that's a good place to leave it for tonight, gang. My head's a pounding. That key light doesn't help. Um. I'll look and see who's on. I really don't want to stick around and chat after a raid, though. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do a raid. I think we're just going to dip. I'm just going just gonna to say goodbye. Uh, I will be back live tomorrow afternoon, right around 2 p.m. right here on Twitch, so... Make sure you follow on Twitter so you get announcements, streams, videos, and other stupidness I post on there. And that you're subscribed on both YouTube channels. And that you're hanging out with some of the Bangalore's Discord server. Thanks, everyone, for chilling with me on this Saturday evening. There are tons of streams you could have viewed that you came to mind. And I greatly appreciate that. We're just going to come down here where there's a lot of pedestrian activity. And just kind of watch as people walk around. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night, everybody.